Well, hello. I've missed you terribly. And if you are still here after my very long break, I cannot tell you how much I appreciate you giving me the time to deal with what I needed to deal with. Last fall, I was diagnosed with hemochromatosis and ADHD. Hemochromatosis is just a fancy way of saying that my red blood cells overload with iron. It's not a terrible diagnosis. It's completely able to be monitored. I just have to give a lot of blood a lot of times throughout the year so that my new red blood cells can maybe not hold too much iron. But the main symptom of hemochromatosis in the body is intense fatigue. Couple that with ADHD and being self-employed is super fun. And honestly, the uh, ADHD like kind of messed me up more because I went down a rabbit hole for re reading books and doing research and it kind of made me crumble because it made me reevaluate my entire childhood, my 20s, and I grew up being told I was lazy and flaky and unreliable. I grew up in a time where ADHD was laughed at. It was just something bad kids had that couldn't behave. It wasn't a real thing. So to not only deal with that and overcome that, but to just look so much into this thing that explains so much about my behavior, the isolation, the lack of focus, it was just really overwhelming. And my husband and I bought a house last year, which has been the most stressful thing I've ever done in my life. Couple that with this and I just imploded. The longer of a break I took, the more I just kept getting this paralyzing anxiety around doing this and filming this alone. I've been consistent with my podcast because I get to film that with my best friend and that doesn't feel like work. It's, it's someone else, it's fun, it's someone to bounce off of. But like I said, the longer I took off, the more anxiety I had around sitting down and doing this, especially talking about all this. Because anything I do on my own, I have this debilitating perfectionism. If it's not gonna be the most amazing thing ever made, it's not worth doing. So I live my life in this fight or flight of doing something until I burn out or doing nothing and feeling guilty about it. And that's ADHD. So I wanted to tell you where I've been, why I've been gone so long, and that I am back. I took this time to reconcile all this and give myself a second, and I want to have fun with this. I'm in a new studio I made in my house. I'm filming on my phone. I don't want everything to be so perfect. I want to have fun with beauty and share more about my life and stop being so anxious. I'm writing comedy skits. I'm almost done with one. I'm just trying to perfect Barbara's scathing monologue. But most importantly for you guys that have been with me for as long as you have and noticed that I've been gone, I just wanted to give you the explanation and share this with you because if any of you can relate to this, I want you to know that social media is a facade and everyone looks perfect and I am such a victim of comparing myself to everybody else that I'm not doing it as good. So I wanted to let you know what I've been really going through and what's going on with me so that if you can relate to it, we can talk about it and it maybe brings you comfort and that I'm just so excited to come back. And again, if you've waited all this time and you're still here, I can't thank you enough for your patience and let's have some fun.